Okay, so here's the guy. Now, obviously, he has really weird options here for somebody who has an axe. Um, these are settings for pistol, but they work. Um, out comes his axe. Um, he'll uh, hold it by his head. Oh. Ah! And then uh, kneel and aim from his head. So you might be wondering, okay, that's nice and dandy, but who really cares? Okay. Well, obviously I need to work on the backdrop a little bit more, but I kind of wanted to get a chance to kind of see how he looks in here. So here's my handsome fella. Isn't he hot? And what I like to do with these shots is I don't necessarily like him when he's static like that. I kind of like it when he's like that. Maybe he's doing this. Ooh. And maybe there'll be somebody, you know. Obviously I need to do a little bit more action here, but... Kind of mess around with this a little bit more. Lighting kind of sucks. I've got all kinds of wacky presets because I do weird things sometimes. I don't like that. Um, and obviously these are just to kind of test things out. Oh, no. Ooh, creepy guy. Of course, the problem with this is then you can't really see his weapon very well, now can you? So, and obviously there are ways to fix these a little bit more. I'm just trying to get a basic preset for him. Hmm. Excuse me. All right. They also give you options here. I like the shadow. All right, so let's say we like this shot. I'm not too thrilled about it. We'll say we like it. I'm going to cut it right there. Now, the neat thing is now... You can kind of play around with this a little bit. Um, you can actually take an HD shot of him if you wanted. I don't really like this. You have to forgive me. This is really annoying to me. Maybe before. And... and Okay, obviously we got some problems here. This doesn't look like an underground yet. So we're going to go back to the tools and we are going to get this a little bit differently. We're going to take this one here. You can actually move the whole thing this way. And we're going to take this one here and do the same thing. Okay, that should help a little bit with this issue. Another thing we're going to do, I do not like how the gray tiles look. They look awful. So we're going to repaint the bottom. Uh, I meant the light gray to to tiles. I don't like how they look. So we're just going to repaint the bottom there. Then... We are going to jump over here, and I'm going to change the ceiling color to black. Mm, ground, terrain, see if we can go any darker. Oof, that's not good. Uh, maybe not show the terrain. There we go. Okay. You might ask, why so much black? Well, remember, these are going to be comic book panels. 
this is not going to be an animated film. So I can get away with kind of having a lot of black in the background and that just looks like area that I haven't colored in. As opposed to during a film, it obviously would look really funky if I did that. So let's go back over here. So now, instead of being against that bright, silly background before, now we have them against dark. Um, but it's still kind of a boring shot. Um, all the same, I save stuff. And it saves a snapshot. You can actually click on here. You can change the resolution. My resolution, I'm going to make it really high. And then um, you can change this uh, save location. I'm guessing they're all going in here under Destiny. So yeah, sure, whatever. That's fine. All right. So here's our guy. Now what'll be interesting, maybe, is let's look at this guy here. Let's see. What if he looks right about here? You can gesture with these guys and you can change the way they look. So let's change his mood. He's not a very happy guy. So we'll do him very angry. And maybe he'll scowl. He's already scowling. His body posture is going to be... Well, I don't want to make him angry because sometimes that ends up being kind of... Mm, let's go with that one. And his improvisation. He's angry. I don't want him idle. He's a little stern. Not afraid. And he's kind of negative. All right. Then what I'll do is it'll add a couple little gestures that he'll do. Now I can also add a gesture here. There you go. And I'm going to have him look over his right shoulder, I guess. Let's see, let's do, what if he did a big look right? Right again. Ah, okay. There's a problem there where since he's holding that thing, he can't really, um, can't really do too much with his head right now. I don't think he's kind of stuck with that position there, which is fine. All right, for now. No, I don't want to cancel. Okay. All right. What? Oh, I must be hitting the wrong button. Three. Okay. So now let's look at our guy. See if they're. That adds a little bit. Now he's got an angry scowl on his face a little bit. Not a huge one, but he's not very happy. If we did a focus on his face. Ooh, look at that nice pretty boy. He's so hot. Oh, yeah. Rrr. I'll take a picture of that. All right. If you want to look, know what it looks like, um, I'll just do this. Hide, oh, Bryce is done with there. We'll hide Bryce real quick. And don't mind all my stuff. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> we'll do this. Okay. <sighs> okay. Anyway, we want to see what it looks like. We'll just go over to way too many programs. Where's my preview? And in preview, I'll open up. I'll go to my desktop, look up Destiny. Let's see, new folders where they all are. And Now, one of the problems I've seemed to be having with this is that for some reason it has this whole side thing here, which I think is an issue with the window itself and everything. Um, but because what I'm doing is, for example, I'll show you, open Comic Life 2. Okay, continue. Let's open a recent one. I said continue. Um, call this Destiny Blank. All right, these are test panels that I've been using. 
uh, just to kind of see how it looks with um, the options here that I have. I don't like that one. What is it? The mango one? No. So let's say I do this. And then what I'll do is we will open up. I hate how it does this. Let's go finder. There we go. And we'll take this guy. You could put this here. This is an older picture of him. You could do. Oops. Not there. Cancel. There. Okay. So this is just a sample of what I'm thinking of doing. Obviously, these were done fairly quickly and they're not that great. But as you can see, this is kind of how it, what's going to happen, which is why some of the issues that we've had, we can kind of get away with because some of these panels are going to be just a little bit smaller and all that kind of thing. Hey there. Okay. I probably won't put a bubble that says hey there. Nice and easier. But this is just a test panel. Ah, he's so ugly. Okay. Go away. All right. Oof. Oof. Very, very pretty. Okay, now we're going to go back to our background because obviously right now he's just kind of hanging out in this really like dull, like nothing's happening out. So what I'm going to do is let's add a little bit to this. Now, I have a lot of things here because um, I'm part of the movie storm community for a while. Just finished an opera, had a lot of people helping me, um, like uh, just lots of people helping me. Like you'll have Lucinda McNary and um, Arthur K and Kira Hildebrandt and just um, good old Shirley uh, Martin. Um, just a bunch of people that have created all kinds of amazing add-ons. Um, lots of them are free. Some of them are very, they're very reasonably priced for like five bucks. You can get some of this stuff. Anyway, so I have a lot of extra stuff here that you uh, wouldn't get with the regular movie storm program. But, uh, let's see. So what I'm looking for right now, and you can actually just kind of, um, I think if I go mountain maybe, there we go. All right, um, these are ones that are made, obviously, um, by Two Moon Graphics. Um, these are other ones that are now new with uh, Movie Storm. And you're saying, why a mountain? Well, why not? Okay, so we can take one of these suckers and put it there. We can make it really, really big and obnoxious if we want to, or just kind of small. All right, that's good. Now, the only problem, there we go. Question is, can we change? Okay, so this is kind of a brighter kind of a mountain. I wonder if. There we go. So you can change the color or change the image even. Now, remember back though we had Bryce? Okay, hide that. So this is our new texture here. I'm gonna export this image. We'll save it as a JPEG. Okay, I'll just call it Stonewall One. And I'm doing like 10 of these half the time. So, oops, it's my family. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is change the image. This pops up. There we go. And if I want to make it a little more, oops, let's reset it. Reset, reset, reset. There. And I can always go back here and check my shot. So uh, let's go back to maybe this. Oops. There you go. Uh, 
Now this one only has one option, so I can only change its color. Now, sometimes I like to get a little creative with some of these, I'm using them uh, not the way they were intended. For example, roots. Roots are just kind of hanging out here. However, if you make them ridiculously large and mess with them just a little bit so they're out of the way, they can make some interesting uh, textural kind of stuff going on. Kind of debating whether to mess with the red or not. Of course, I don't know why it would be red. It could be a dark red. There's another one. You might say, why put so much junk everywhere? Well, think about it. Nowhere you go is going to be absolutely flat. Nowhere. You know, in the background here, there's not really much going on. So I was actually thinking about possibly for one of these, we'll create a new document. Nah, don't save it. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna render this. I may or may not use it. Let that happen. Mm-hmm. 
key is to really think of things a little bit outside the box. For example, this is a crib, but when enlarged, it's now a prison. if we want. Maybe like that. Change it. Goodbye, pretty, pretty thing. There we go. Then what you can do, of course, take our little star character there. Oh, you know what? Actually, we'll save a little bit. Sometimes it's better if you can to just kind of uh, fake this stuff. So what we'll do Hey, Mr. Bones. You can put the skeletons in there. Apparently this one ended up all the way up there. All right, we'll just get rid of him. All right. Notice I went through that trouble of making the texture, but I'm actually making it not even really all that. Able to see it very well. All right.
Well, to me, that just seems a little bit more interesting. We've got shadows of the cage over here. We've got the guy here. We've got some texture stuff going on in the background. I feel like this is a lot, lot more interesting. than what we had before. Okay. Obviously, as we continue working on this, he'll have, a, you know, there'll be a little bit more order to what he's got going on. But that's not too bad to start out with. It looks like a mess. But when you're doing the shots, it'll actually work. Now, you could also play around. Oops. From a different angle. Not even from this guy's angle. Let's say... Okay, now's the tricky part, trying to get his shot from the point of view of our friends the skeletons. Not always easy to pull off this kind of stuff, but it's fun if you can. There he is. May not work, but we'll see. I think the bars are a little bit too big. And that's not interesting enough, I don't think. I did this. It's kind of interesting, but not incredibly interesting. Oh, the other good thing about our skeleton friends is that we can go ahead and kind of jump in on them. Kind of add a little bit to the creepiness of this whole thing. It's like, why is this dude got skeletons hanging out over here? I don't know. I don't know. Why do I my arms crossed? I don't know. I don't know. We just want a good shot of a inside of the ribs. Oh yeah. That might be good for something later. And I kind of like the spine. So mess with that a little bit.
anyone does that. There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 